Hello guys, welcome to another video. Today we are going to talk about chroma key, a technique used to replace the background in images. It is widely used in the production of videos, but it can also be used in streams and video conferences. To apply it, it usually requires that you have a background with a homogeneous color, usually green or blue. This could be a wall, a fabric or a sheet of paper. But in this video, we take a different approach, using image processing to replace the background easily and quickly. For this, we are going to use the Snap Camera, which is basically a computer version of Snapchat. In Snap Camera, you can apply all the funny effects and lenses of Snapchat. Here we will focus on replacing the background. The download link is in the video description. If you just want a quick way to replace your background with something else, perhaps for privacy reasons, that's all you need. Once installed, just search for a background lens and apply. In your video conference or stream, you only need to select the snap camera as the video input. But among the lenses, we also have some that simulate a green background, which can be replaced by other images and videos of your choice even in real time. For this we will use another free software, OBS Studio. Together with its plugin VirtualCam, again the download links are in the description. After the installation is done, we can start configuring OBS and VirtualCam. To capture the video from the snap camera, you need to add a video capture device in the sources block. In the new window, with the Create new option selected. You can assign a name to the camera if you want. I'm going to set it as Snap Source and then click OK. In the new window, select the Snap Camera. No need to mess with the settings at this moment. Click OK. In some cases, there may be a difference between the video resolution of the Snap Camera and the resolution of OBS. We can adjust the scale of the video directly in the preview window. To add the chroma key effect in the video, we go back to the sources and with a right click on the snap source, we need to select the filters option. In the effect filters part, we have to add the chroma key filter. Confirming that we have the green color selected. Remember, you should have a lens with a green background activated in the snap camera. Now we can close this window. Then we can add an image, video or screen capture in the background of the camera video. I will show it here with an image. For that we go to sources and add image. Again, if you want, you can assign a name for this image. In the new window, just navigate to the location of the image you want and after selecting it, we can close the window. One more time, maybe we will have to adjust the image to the OBS resolution. We can see that the image has taken the entire preview screen, as it is in the front plane. To put it in the background, just reorganize the sources so that the image is below the snap source. At this point we can already stream or start a recording. But first you need to click on transition, so that the preview image goes to the program image. It is not yet possible to use this video as an input in a video conference software. First, we need to start the virtual cam plugin. To start the virtual cam, you must access the tool menu and select the corresponding option. In the new window, the virtual camera can be started. If you want, you can also check the option so that it starts automatically with OBS. Okay, 
Now you just have to select the OBS camera as your webcam in your video call. To summarize this video, some quick notes about the snap camera. Background removal works best when there's a certain contrast between you and the stuff in your background. The lenses that I found cannot recognize arms, so your arms will disappear if you raise your hands. The snap camera can use significant processing power, so if you are gaming or doing some demanding task while you stream, you can experience some drop in your performance. In such cases, it may make more sense to invest on a physical green screen. That's it for today. If you had any questions, feel free to ask in the comments. Thanks for watching and until the next time.